She wasn't just drunk, she was very drunk. The test results are back on a driver who killed two of her friends in a crash on I-25 and nearly took out a mother and her two little boys. That was six weeks ago. But get this, she is still not in jail. Here's News 13's Alex Tomlin. Dick, those blood tests show Stephanie Mendez had a .23 alcohol level. We asked why she still hasn't been arrested. It was a horrific scene on I-25 in Montano in March. Two of Mendez's friends dead on the pavement. Two others in the car ejected after Mendez took the on-ramp too fast and barreled into oncoming traffic. A mother and her two little boys were left in shock and grateful to be alive. Mendez wasn't arrested that night because she went to the hospital for her injuries. Then we were told officers were waiting for her blood results before slapping on the cuffs. Today we've learned she was hammered that night, but she's still out free without any restrictions. APD could arrest Mendez, but it says its protocol in these types of cases is to hand things over to the DA's office. By handling one case different from another, there's not that consistency, and I would argue probably less of a chance for justice if they're not handled um, as much alike as possible. District Attorney Carrie Brandenburg says the case will go to a grand jury within a month, but she could ask for Mendez to be arrested sooner. If we feel that someone's a danger and is putting people at risk, we ask that they be arrested, that they go before a court, and that the court set a reasonable bond, um, and that they're on conditions of release while their case is pending. The innocent mother who survived the crash with her sons told us the day after that Mendez, who already had a DWI conviction, is absolutely a danger. It makes me very angry because my family is okay today, but what if she hit me tomorrow? What if she hit somebody else and killed them tomorrow? Brandenburg says that if Mendez is out driving, she'll ask police to arrest her. Dick? All right, Alex, the DA says if prosecutors get that case quickly, there may be a decision by the end of this week on whether to arrest Mendez.